Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to look at the conservation of linear momentum. So let's examine three words in that sentence. So conservation means you are protecting something or you are not letting anything go to waste. So it means that the total amount of momentum must stay the same. Linear means that the objects must be colliding along a straight line and then momentum is mass times velocity. So what they discovered was that when two objects crash into each other or move apart, the total momentum of the system must stay constant. Let me see what, and, and, and another thing is, there mustn't be any external forces such as friction, sound, or anything like that. So let's have a simple example to illustrate what they're talking, what they are talking about. So let's say we have object A over here, which has a mass of two kilograms, and it's moving at one meter per second to the right. Object B, let's say is a one kilogram object moving at one meter per second to the left. So let's quickly calculate the total momentum of the entire system. You must choose a direction as positive. So let's assume that right is positive. Then what would the total momentum of the system be before the collision? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a table like this. Now, and this isn't something you're going to do in the test. I'm just illustrating the process. So for object A, we know that it's got a momentum. Remember, momentum is mass times velocity. So that's going to be equal to 2 times by 1, which is just 2 kilograms per meter per second. And that is going to the right. Okay, so that's positive. So I'm just going to say initially it's got a momentum of 2. You get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm just going to say 1 times 1 for this object. But because it's going left, it's going to have a momentum of minus 1. Remember, momentum is a, is a vector, so you must give it a direction. And so the total is not going to be 3. In fact, it's going to be 1 to the right. So the total momentum of this system before the collision is 1. But we can't just say 1. We have to say 1 to the right. So after these two objects collide, the answer also has to be 1 to the right. That is what we mean by conservation of linear momentum. So for example, let's say the two objects bump into each other and then they move apart. And let's say that object B moves away at 0 0.8 meters per second, but we don't know the velocity of object A. We don't know in which direction it's going to go and we also don't know its velocity. So let's see what we can fill in our table. So for final, for A, we have no idea what that is. For B, it's going to be 1 multiplied by 0 0.8. And that's positive because we chose right as positive, And it is going to the right. So that'll be 0 0.8. Now look how easy this is. We know that the total momentum should be 1 unit to the right. And object B is already 0 0.8. That means that object A will have to be moving at a momentum of 0 0.2 to the right, so that together those two would give an answer of 1 to the right. So the momentum of object A after the collision is going to be 0 0.2 to the right. I thought it was going to be left, whoops. So it's actually also be going to be going to the right. And so we know that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. We know that object A has a momentum of 0 0.2. Its mass is 2 kilograms, and we can then work out its velocity. What we would find is that its velocity is going to be 0 0.1 meters per second to the right. So in summary, when two objects crash, the total momentum, which was the 1, has to stay the same. So notice in the next line for the final momentum, it stays 1. We were then able to calculate the 0 0.8. And so then obviously, object A's momentum should be 0 0.2. OK, Kevin, so now how do are we going to do this when we are in a test environment? OK, so let me show you a better way to do this. So here's a diagram that shows what happened. So initially, we had two objects moving towards each other. And we know that for the we don't know what the final velocity of the first object is. Sorry, this one was, yeah, they were both one kilogram. I'm just going to call them A and B. 
and A and B. Now, it makes sense, actually, if we think about this. This object here carries a much larger momentum in the beginning. So chances are that when it collides with this object B, it's going to cause object B to move backwards, and this object A will continue moving in its original direction. You can think of a truck colliding with a small car. The truck would typically cause the car to move, change direction, but the truck would continue moving in its original direction. So mathematically, or scientifically, depending on the way you want to look at it, Scientists have discovered that the total momentum of the system must stay constant. Now we know from our initial parts of grade 12 maths in series and sequences, we know that the sum symbol looks like this. So what we can say is that the sum, meaning the total, of all the momentum of the system initially, I for initial, or in the beginning, must be equal to the sum of all the momentum final. final. Now remember, direction is very important. So we'll choose a direction as positive, so we can say like that. So let's work out the sum of this momentum of the system before the crash. Well, that's going to be the mass times the velocity for object A, and that's the initial velocity, plus the mass times the velocity of for the initial for object B, and that must be equal to the mass times the velocity of object A final plus the mass times velocity of object B final. Sorry if this is a little bit squashed up. So now we just fill things in. So the mass for object A is 1 and the velocity for object A is 2. And I can say positive 2 because it was going to the right. Then I say plus the mass of object B is 1 and its initial velocity is minus 1. Remember, it was moving to the left, but we chose right as positive. You then say equal to the mass of object A, which is 1, times its velocity, which we don't know, so velocity A final, plus the mass of object B, which is 1, and its final velocity is 0 0.8, and because it's going to the right, I'll keep that as positive. So the only unknown in that entire equation now is the velocity of A. So I'm going to quickly work this out. That's going to be 2 minus 1 equals to velocity of A final plus this part here is 0 0.8. We can then do basic math. So this is 2 minus 1, which is 1, minus the 0 0.8. And so we find out that the velocity of A final is going to be equal to 0 0.2 meters per second. Now, because we're getting a positive answer and we chose right as positive, we can therefore say that the velocity of A final is 0 0.2 meters per second to the right. And so the main thing you want to take away from this video is that when two objects collide, the total momentum of the system stays constant. And so in mathematical terms, or as a mathematical formula, you would use this formula over here, which says that the sum of the momentum initially should be equal to the sum of the momentum final. And then always remember, direction is very important. So if you choose right as positive, but one of the objects is moving to the left, well then it has a negative momentum.